Hello and welcome back to the channel. I want to know, have you guys been listening to the lullaby? You know, the song that they sing to rock you back to sleep. Have you been listening to the tunes that they are playing to lull you back to sleep? You know the song that says, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little baby. I hope you haven't been listening to that song because they have given us so many distractions to where I think some people forgot that the economy is tanking and it's tanking fast. They have hand delivered distractions every single day. Now, I want, to, I want to keep you all in remembrance of this. I said that you should be aware, but also be free, okay? Be aware of what's happening, meaning don't ignore it, don't tune it out, but also be very aware. Don't be lulled back to sleep because I think that's what these distractions do. Right now, China has an exodus going on. They have a dying and an aging population and jobs are vanishing. Not that the jobs are vanishing, but the workers are vanishing. What is China and the West hiding from us? Are things worse than they seem? Let's get into this. Now you all know that usually when some certain things happen, uh, there are those who are all always going to be about the money. So I'm looking at this right here. They say the two trillion dollar China exodus. But listen to this though. Listen to to what they're talking about. If you want to look at this um, uh, this video here and listen to some of the things that they're saying, I can I can gladly leave the link. But listen to just the the subtext here says the $2 trillion China exodus. Money, jobs, and whole companies are flooding out of China. But where are they headed? Now, they say the answer could mean a fortune for a handful of well-placed stocks. So that's what they're talking about. They're talking about if you can just follow the money, follow the crowd, you could um, also get a piece of the pie. But there is a more realistic approach being... Um, being told on this post. It says China has lost 41 million workers, almost the size of Germany's workforce in just three years. Now it says the population is reaching the age of 60, a common retirement age in China. It has increased dramatically. Now listen to this. It says China's number of working people has fallen by more than 41 million in the past three years. Now listen to what they say is the reason. It says it's reflecting both the C-19 pandemic, the toll that it was taking on the economy and a decline in the working age population. A decline in the working age population. So that means they are losing. Decline means to lose losing in the working age population. It says some 733 million Chinese people were employed in 2022, according to the country's Statistics Bureau. That's down from 774 in 2019. Now the decline in population over that period is almost equal to Germany's entire workforce, which was about 44 million in 2021, according to the World Bank. Where on earth did all of those people go? Now it says the data stems from a rapid rise in the number of people retiring, likely uh, raising pressure on Beijing to accelerate unpopular plans to raise um, official retirement ages. The drop reflects factors such as higher youth unemployment due to the pandemic, as well as a shrinking number of people a shrinking number of people in the classic age group of the working age population, uh, says Stuart Gill Bateson, a demographer 
um, at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. The number of people in China aged between 16 and 59 has been gradually declining since 2012. Over the past three years, the number in that group dropped 38 million to 856 million. A much more rapid fall than in previous years. Now, some of you all may remember when we report, we were reporting on the fact that there was a rise in the death toll in China and in European countries. They were calling them un- explained departures unexplained they were saying unexplained but this article kind of touched on it a little bit it touched on it a little bit when they were talking about the pan the c19 remember it touched on it a bit so it makes you wonder what is china and the west hiding from us are things worse than they seem because it's one thing to drop, just, you know, your population drops a little, but when we're talking about 40 million, 50 million, and all of these millions in a short period of time, hmm, not just in one country? See, this, this is not just China. Remember, they have excessive or excess departures as well. Excess deaths also in many European nations, many European countries. And guess what? Also here in America, they are saying the same thing, that the numbers have dropped big time. So, if you are not concerned by that, then that must mean that you have your faith where it should be. Now, those who are concerned, it's a natural thing to be concerned because you want to be aware of what's going on. But some people are concerned for the wrong reason, which would cause them to make some bad choices. A lot of people ran out and got themselves poked because they were afraid. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But some people held out and they are not experiencing any, you know, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But I think this is really very telling of some things. The fact that China has this huge, huge exodus. Other reports talk about many of their factories closing down. As a matter of fact, they were showing buildings that had bustling, a bustling workforce. Not just one building, but many factories bustling workforce all of a sudden they shut down and the workforce vanished shut down and vanished now there's a whole lot of things going on some of the exodus are many of the chinese are leaving and they're coming to america yes they are many of them are buying up american property and businesses and land yes that's happening too so there's a number of different things going on, but you simply cannot ignore that many people just vanishing from one country. That's a huge number. Some are getting out of Dodge. Some are leaving the earth altogether for reasons beyond their control, because we know that the most high is the one who is the giver and the taker of life. So anyway, I wanted to give you this food for thought because I don't want you to listen to the lullaby. Don't allow them to lull you back to sleep. Uh, the same concern that you had some time ago, I want you to keep that same concern. Stay focused. Stay prayed up. Stay in the know. Don't allow yourself to be deceived by anything folk are talking about to try to get your mind off of what is really happening. Stay on top of reality. Don't be lulled back to sleep listening to nobody's lullaby anyway i am done with this topic i want you guys to comment as always keep it tight and keep it right i want you to share the video like it if you haven't already 
definitely su subscribe. We would love to have you over here to join the conversation. But keep it tight and keep it right. Until the next live or the next video, I want you all to stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.